Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Let's find out what is the difference between a data raptor extract and a data raptor turbo extract. So in the core, they both extract data from the Salesforce org, but some key differences are there, which are listed on your screen right now. So first of all, data raptor turbo extract is simpler to configure and it has a better performance at runtime. So what I have done is I have created two data raptors. One is a data raptor turbo extract and the another one is a simple extract. And let's try to justify these two points that we have seen that it, the turbo extract is simpler to configure and it has a better performance at runtime. So let's move on to our Salesforce org. And this is the data raptor extract example and adjacent to it is the turbo extract example. And I have configured both of these data raptors in such a way that basically they are performing the same task and querying for contact records based on the filtering criteria that is the last name uh, must be something like this keyword and this keyword can be anything say for example i have put in here small s and as you can see it is fetching some record and similarly we have also configured data raptor turbo extract example now before moving on to the performance of these two let's see that how data raptor turbo extract is simpler and easier to configure as you can compare different tabs available in these two examples we have in data raptor extract we have extract tab we have formulas we have output we have options and we have preview tab now if we compare this with data raptor turbo extract example we only have three tabs here the formulas as well as the output tabs are missing now what is the role of these two tabs that you are seeing right here so in the formulas tab whatever data you are extracting from this particular contact object type you can use formulas say for example you can concat two strings of different fields and you can map it to a formula result path which will be shown as an entire different node in your JSON output. But if we see in the data raptor extract, we cannot do this. Hence, it is less complex as compared to the normal extract. Second is the output tab. So as you can see, I have mapped contacts, first name and last name with an output JSON path of my own. So I have map the first name with name and have last name mapped with surname which is also visible in this output json now this also cannot be done in data raptor extract you cannot restructure the output json which you can in data raptor extract also if you see from the configuration point of view the turbo extract is way simpler to configure you simply have to give the extract output path the filtering criteria you can also use these and or limit offset order by and if required you can also go ahead and query some related objects so if you see it does not support formulas it does not support output tab as far as the performance at runtime is considered let's go ahead and since both of these are doing basically the same thing same query both the data raptors are executing so we'll just go and execute both of them one one by one and let's see what is the apex cpu time and if you hover over this i button you would be able to see that apex cpu is basically the total time for data raptor specific code to execute so let's hit execute for data raptor extract example. 
it has taken 52 units of specified time now let's go ahead and execute data adapter turbo extract and you can see it has taken less time than the actual data adapter extract let's move on to the fourth uh, key difference which is it can retrieve data from single sales force that is data adapter turbo extract and it supports fields from related objects and it also supports data filter and select fields which i have already shown so as you can see in the extract options we have something as related objects which can fetch fields from the related object which are parents of this particular object so if i need to extract the contact name from a particular record so we can simply go ahead and select contact dot account which basically means that account is the parent of this particular account and we can fetch the fields related to this parent account say for example we need to get account name and let's test it out and as you can see we are now getting the account name as well in the output payload now the same can also be done in normal conventional extract and the way to do it is by simply going to output and do something like this contacts colon account dot name you can map it to any node of your choice so let's name it our related account name and let's hit the execute button and see if it's working or not so as you can see it is working we are getting the related account name its communications pyramid constructions and so on so this point is basically true for both of them and this again is not basically a difference so we can simply get rid of these and there you go so these are the basic key differences between data adapter turbo extract and data adapter extract thanks for watching the video do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more.